another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. I'm speaking with Brandon Wong, who is the CEO of Photo Boot Supply Co. And he's out in the West Coast where it's nice and warm. And I'm, as you can see, three layers, folks, three layers in Connecticut. Guys, uh, this is a, a wonderful opportunity to get to know a, a really, a, a very friendly, gregarious guy. Uh, I, I've come to know him just recently, but, you know, he's, his website just pops. Um, and I was curious. I mean, I know as photographers, we're always looking for the next thing that we can offer our clients. And we're going, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Well, one of the things that it's easy is to set up a photo booth, but it's not easy. And so I said, what is the best option out there, really? And Brandon just reached out to me and said, hey, uh, this is what we do kind of thing. And I said, well, let's talk. Let's talk shop. So, Brandon, welcome to the show, man. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Stacey, very excited to be here. Um, I've been a, a fan of your website, and uh, there's incredible speaker lineup on there, and I'm just extremely humbled to be uh, one of those uh, interview people. And uh, yeah, super excited to be here. Welcome. And, yeah. Welcome, sure. to the, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, I know you're on the West Coast. Where are you on the West Coast? I'm just curious. We're actually located right here in Orange County, California. Ooh, OC. OC, baby. Oh, I love it. Uh, my heart's in California. You know that, right? You know, I didn't know that. Yeah, Explain your well, story. Let well, me know. I, I went to high school there. I went to college there. Uh, oh, cool. I have family all the, across the West Coast, you know, and so nice. anytime I, I hear from somebody on the West Coast, I'm just, I get excited, you know. Um, yeah. But <laughs> tell me tell me about your business, man. You're a wedding photographer, right? Yes, yes. And what, what made you think, okay, I'm going to do something for the wedding community uh, through this new business, uh, which is Photo Boot Supply Co. Uh, what is it? How did you get started? Yeah, great question. Well, a little background on us, uh, me and my now wife, Katrina, oh. uh, we started a wedding photography business about seven years ago, and uh, we had 110% into it, loved it. We had that photojournalistic background, huge fans of uh, other interviewers um, that you had before, David Murray, Amy Deputy, all those people as well. So we had that photojournalistic uh, passion in mind. We were shooting and shooting and shooting, and you know what, after a while, you kind of realize as a business owner, you're kind of capped at 25 or 30 weddings a year, and you can't really go much further out than that. So Katrina and I decided at that point, um, we had to figure out something else. We need to offer something unique and special to our clients that's a natural addition to our business. And uh, being in California, a very, I would say, forward um, state, especially in the wedding world, we're very trendy, I would say, we started to see a huge majority of these weddings start implementing and hiring photo booths. Um, of course, involved various sizes and designs and sure. stuff like that. Yeah. And so we set out to find one. And we scoured the internet for months. And even after, I think, half a year, we finally found one that we thought was great. Um, and we went ahead and made the jump to buy it. Um, it was not a cheap decision. It was $15,000. We saved a lot of money. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you look at our prices right now, it's not even close to that. So, you know, but anyways, <laughs> I'll talk about that a little later. But we spent $15,000 on this thing with good faith that it was going to uh, be an excellent source of revenue sure, for us sure. and an easy way to expand our company. Um, because when people hire Brandon Wong Photography, who are they expecting to show up at the wedding? Brandon Wong and Katrina Santos. Absolutely. But if you want to hire a photo booth, well, we don't need to be there because you don't need Brandon Wong to be there. You don't need Katrina Santos to be there. You can just hire Joe Schmo. So we thought it was a really easy way to expand our business mm -hmm. and really break through that cap of 25, 30 weddings a year. And we could do potentially 100 photo booth gigs a year. Anyways, long story short, we get the photo booth in. It's, it's nice, but it took forever to set up. I would say it, it took up half of our garage space. It was massive. We required wow. us to rent a U-Haul trailer every single time or rent a cargo van. Um, so this is what our typical photo booth weekend turned out to be. Set off, let's say the wedding's on Saturday, okay? So on Friday, we go to U-Haul, spend like three hours there, get in the U-Haul, loading it up. It took forever. Saturday, we go to the wedding, and we can't even go into the, the valet. We have to go to the loading dock in the back because we have a huge trailer. And I'm Asian. I can't drive. I'm hitting everything along the way there. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. It's so bad, all right? So we go get this through the, um, the cargo, get our cargo van or trailer, go through the back. And we have these huge, huge, like, seven-foot columns, which assemble the photo wow. booth. We're going through the kitchen. We're hitting the glasses. We're hitting the place. You know, it's narrow hallways. It was just 
a big mess. And even just unloading the the photo booth took about two hours. Setting it up took even more than that. And it came to the point where you know Katrina and I didn't want to rent it out anymore. Right. It was too much of a hassle. Right. And the the ease of, the ease of expanding was actually more of an illusion because we actually had to hire two. Uh, muscular men to go out there to do it because it was not light and we had to hire someone oh excuse me we had to hire somebody who um uh, had new understood uh, photography because uh, they need to actually put all the uh, the course together and everything like that um and we decided you know it wasn't worth our time so we didn't give up though we decided that you know what there has to be an easier solution out there and we went ahead and uh, made our own purely for selfish reasons actually um, because we wanted something that we would love to give out to our clients and something that would really match our aesthetic mm -hmm. um, not just in the looks of the booth but also in the picture quality but another thing I didn't actually touch upon was the picture quality of the $15,000 booth right. it was not that good um, and we didn't think that was a big deal actually a lot of our clients you know I thought you know you know they like our photography you know how are they going to tell the difference quality in the photo booth you can't imagine how many people we've lost on the sales of the photo because they were like, the image quality actually wasn't as good as your actual photography. I'm like, I, I couldn't believe it. People actually noticed this stuff. Wow. So we made our own photo booth. It was extremely portable. The lighting quality was incredible. It was exactly what we wanted. And it was for us. And then we started getting people. Sorry, go ahead. So no, I was going to say, you, designed, you, you actually custom designed your own photo booth. Is that what, what happened? Correct. Yeah. So after the frustration of um, our old photo booth, we actually have sold it and then went ahead and made our own. And then we made our own. It was purely just for us and we weren't intending on selling it at sure. all. And then, you know, our wedding photography friends were like, hey guys, are you guys selling this? And we're like, no. And then we kept on like, getting more and more people asking us. And, you know, one thing led to another and then Photo Booth Flaco was born. Excellent. Wow. Yeah. That's, that, it's, the backstory sounds like uh, the perfect dream for a lot of photographers, really. Yeah. You know? Right? Yeah. yeah. You you have a problem, you solve it, and then people just end up wanting the same solution, which is which is incredible. Um, when, when it came down to marketing it, though, did you have trouble marketing it to people on the East Coast because of the distance? Did you have any situations where, you know, it was, it was mostly only for the photographers and OC, for instance, that really loved this product? Or was it, was it you know, gaining some, like I told you in our email, uh, the place where I saw a photo supply booth co was at uh, Inspire Photo Retreats, which is amazing. You know, um, it was a, it was probably the center of attention for a good part of the day. Uh, a yeah. lot of people are having fun. You know, people being goofy and people yeah. just taking pictures of them. Um, yeah. I just I and I, I looked at looked it up. I was like, wow, who's this? Who's this kind of supply company? You know? Yeah. And yeah. And it's it was neat that you had reached all the way out to Maine. You know, um, Emily Sommer, who's a photographer in Portland, actually brought the booth and set it up uh, and set it up for uh, for the folks at Inspire. Um, this distance issue is not any more uh, of an issue, is it for you? Oh, no, not at all. So we actually had our first really big launch at WPPI 2013. Okay. And since then, we've sold to uh, so many countries I can't even count. I think we're at like 15 different countries now all over the world, um, shipping all across the United States. Um, and it's it's been an incredible journey for us. Do you, do you rent it or do you sell it? We actually sell it. Okay. Okay. Yes. So there's no renting at all. Oh, we do still do some rentals. So Katrina and I still, you know, um, to a lot of people's surprise, still shoot about 15 weddings a year. Okay. Um, and we only pretty much supply photo booths to those 15 weddings. Um, we used to have a much bigger reach than that, but we've decided to actually refer out those um, gigs to our local California owners. Right. So we we'll want to give them a little helping hand as well. Sure. Uh, yeah. So you, you've actually solved the problem of, uh, of this beast of a of a photo booth that you had to you know invest in fifteen thousand dollars and you've you've made it something that's easier to transport definitely a lot smaller a lot lighter right give us an yes. idea it's not fifteen thousand dollars what does it cost to buy a, a, a booth from you gotcha well our basic option it starts at six thousand nine hundred and it goes all the way up to our flagship model which is nine thousand three hundred and to most photographers it seems like a pretty big number uh, fifteen thousand is already huge nine three hundred seems big as well but a lot of people don't understand that it's an investment 
Um, it's something that you're going to, I guarantee you're going to make your money back over time. Um, and I've seen most photographers, if they barely even try, it'll take them a year. Um, a lot of people, though, make their money back anywhere from, I've seen a week, to even three months. Um, we have one photographer, um, I love telling her story because it's so interesting, uh, Catherine Kruger. She's an incredible photographer, incredible person. Um, she, she bought the photo booth. And she was a little apprehensive about it at first. You know, it was a big jump for most people. And uh, within a week, she booked um, a corporate gig, and it was a six-day long event. Huh. Um, and she just trained somebody how to do it for a couple hours, and then they went ahead and did the event. And she, she literally says, I was sitting at home drinking a margarita while someone else is making money for me. And nice. she made her money back like that. And I was like, you know, that's the stories I want to hear. And helping people make money and to empower their business and to grow their business. That's what, that's what we want to do here. Sure. You know, I, I, of course, we're selling a photo booth, but I love ha having people email me back after a couple of months or a year and say, Brandon, this changed our life. You know, it gave us all this extra income. You know, it, it literally allowed me to grow my business in ways we was unprecedented before. And it just, that, that makes me happy. And that's why we do this. Excellent. Uh, give me a, a rough idea. Uh, we're going to have pictures and, and perhaps a video yep. showing how uh, this booth looks and perhaps how it's being used uh, yep. down below. But uh, give us an idea as to typical time to set this thing up. Yeah, setting it up. Okay, so as opposed to what we used to be dealing with, which is you know two hours trips from back, back and forth from the car, sure. another hour plus setup. Now, because our booths come in actual rolling cases, you could take one trip from the car, from the valet straight to the ballroom or whatever the venue is. It takes about 10 minutes to get from the car to the ballroom, even less than that, and about three to five minutes to set up. What? It's so fast. So a lot of people, it, it, you that, know, I don't recommend- That's amazing. Yeah, you know, and as wedding photographers and as professionals, I always recommend people coming earlier than usual to sure. your event. Yeah. But Literally, you can roll in 30 minutes before you start with this thing and be set up, you know, wow. which is, you know, it's risky, but I mean, you can totally do it, which is awesome, you know, sure. and just, yeah, I was uh, going to say, so is, is a camera included? Is that something that a photographer would have to just sort of put in the machine or how, how is the machine really configured to yeah. be able to make images? Yeah, great question, Shishu. So, um, our complete system is a turnkey solution. So you're getting the camera, the software, the computer, the strobe, the enclosure, the carrying case, all the technical support. We even give you marketing materials as well to help Excellent. you yeah, jumpstart your business. So when you when you actually buy the photo booth from us, you're it's completely ready to go. You don't need to supply anything else. It's awesome. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Uh, so as far as the, the sale of uh, the booth itself. It starts at six thousand nine hundred and Correct. goes up to ninety three hundred dollars. Correct. So I'm assuming there's some sort of differences between the two two options, or right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, me explaining it will be better if you just you know the pictures below. But sure, we sure. have three different options. We have the basic, the printer, and then the printer plus. Okay. The basic option is the only option that does not do any printing. Um, and ah, okay. this is really cool because you can actually force people to pretty much email, Facebook, tweet out the images in order to get them because they don't have a physical print. So yeah. they have to, in one shape or form, yeah. do some sort of social media to get it. This is incredible for the photographer because now at this point, you're getting people to Facebook these images that have your branding on it. Sure. You know, So your wedding that you shot with 100 people, now you're getting all 100 of those emails. You can email them afterward and say, hey, it was so great seeing you at the event. You know, if you want to book our wedding photography services or photo booth services, we can give you 10% you know, off your next booking within the next 24 hours. Okay. And a lot of photographers don't do these email campaigns, and they're losing out on a lot of money. Okay. Um, and we're actually setting up a chat with um, Steve Saprito, which you've also interviewed before, and he understands the, the beauty and the actual uh, marketing ability for this thing. And I, I've actually never even noticed that before, but Steve looked at this thing and it's like, this is not a way to make money, Brandon. I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? I'm like, this is a way to make money. He's like, no, this is a way to reach out to the entire wedding, get their emails, and then make money off all those people. And I was like, that's brilliant. Yeah, he is, he is a sharp guy for sure. He is, oh my God, <laughs> sharp uh, as a knife. Absolutely. Uh, this is this is incredible. So this yeah. is going to empower photographers who have been struggling uh, to invest a little bit, of course, up front 
Uh, it's Correct. not going to, it is going to take a little bit of money to make money. Uh, and this is one of those situations where yeah. you do have to step up and say, Hey, you know, uh, we're going to be able to put some, some funds together and, and buy this thing. Do you offer payment plans for photographers? Yeah, we absolutely do. So we have a financing um, office that uh, you can get the booth for as low as, you know, uh, high 200s or as low 200s a month. So you can pay as you go. If you're not ready to do the uh, commit fully up front, you can definitely just, you know, pay in small increments, make money as you go. Um, and if you want to decide to pay half in cash, half in lease, you can do that as well. We're extremely flexible. Excellent. Wow. Uh, thank you so much, Brandon. I, th this has been eye-opening for me. I mean, even though uh, I am no longer a, a full-time wedding photographer and I photograph families, I feel like this could be something I could invest in myself to introduce, introduce to you know, the corporate offices nearby or, uh, oh, or uh, for conferences, for instance. It'll be fantastic, like, like at Inspire, in fact. So exactly. it's, a, it's a great opportunity. One last question. I know you mentioned software. Uh, how often does that get updated? How does one get access to uh, the the interface i guess which was on an ipad if i don't if i don't if i'm not mistaken right was it on an ipad that it, it sort of everything ran off of an ipad or what was it yeah great question well Inside the photo booth is actually a Microsoft tablet that runs the entire software. You can have an iPad to supplement it, okay. uh, to do your social media sharing on there, have all the images play on there. Um, that's a completely a separate purchase. But a new, cool add-on, but not necessary to run the booth. Okay. Um, the software is by far, in my opinion, the, the most advanced software out there. We're constantly updating it almost every month to meet uh, the, the market's demands. Um, yeah, but it's, it's incredible software and we love it. Okay. Uh, I said one last question, but I got one more. Keep um, them coming. Keep them coming. Hey, listen, you know, I, so I'm, I'm a photographer. I've got this booth set up and uh, there's a problem right at the, at, at yeah. the venue. What happens yeah. at that point? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out and call somebody, right? I'm going to yes. and try and call for them. Who am I going to call uh, at 9 o'clock in the evening on a Saturday <laughs> night? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know if you heard of Smart Albums, but they, in my opinion, they have one of the best uh, customer support teams out there, and um, they implement Facebook groups to really um, not just get answers from their staff quickly, but from the other community, other people in the community as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you're more than welcome to call our tech support team. Um, we may not be available 24/7. We try to be definitely, okay. um, but you know, at 2 a.m. in the morning, something happens. We're probably going to be asleep. So, <laughs> um, but. We do have our Facebook group, which has um, all of our owners on there, and it's an extremely active community, and they're more than happy to help. And I have my eye on there almost all day as well, if you guys ever need any support. Um, it's a wonderful community, and we don't just chat about support issues. We chat about different ways to market the booth, okay. business tactics, marketing tactics, cool ways to brand it. It's just a really cool place to be. Excellent. So there is a way to customize the entire experience. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. Almost everything can be customized. The booth even talks to you while you take the pictures, and yeah. you can even record your own voice or have somebody else's voice in there. All the interfaces, the printouts, it's just sky's the limit. Okay. It's really well, incredible. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go at that because uh, it's, you know, that's really an exciting uh, high to leave things at because I feel like you know, a lot of people have businesses uh, and they, they let go of their branding you know, at, at some point. Uh, you know, I can see people, I've, I've seen people set up photo booths where you know, there's no sign of who the photographer is. You know? mm -hmm. and, and I think that's, that's a little troubling. But yours obviously gives that, uh, gives that option to every photographer. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Brandon. It's been a real pleasure. Seishu, thank you so much for uh, having me on. Sure. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see this and other uh, interviews later on as well. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. See ya. Bye-bye.